All right, welcome back. Game number two in this best of three. We had a small hiccup, but we're back in action. I'm Rifkin, cast this morning with Zombie Grub. And spawning here in the top left corner of the map, it's going to be Dead Pixels Purple Zerg player. True. In the bottom left, as uh, the Red Terran Spear. Yeah, so just some, uh, we talked a little bit about this between games. Apparently, Spear is not a Japanese player. Uh, he is uh, from Korea, uh, currently playing Dust Gaming, used to be known as Tree from FXO. Uh, I, sadly, I don't really know a lot about this guy. The name just does not strike me as familiar, but uh, again, the thing that's kind of exciting about new players like this is, well, A, he's a Korean Grandmaster, so we know he's got chops. But more importantly, we don't know whether he plays mech or bio. Deadwing was certainly an interesting choice for map too. I don't think that this map is any worse for someone who plays bio, but we've definitely seen it be quite... Uh, Almost overpoweringly strong for those who choose to play mech. Well, easy four bases is always nice for mech players, but you know, bio doesn't do so bad in this map either. Um, basically, just macro games don't do so bad. Uh, just vertical spawns, though. Uh, gonna be a, a little bit closer. Of course, you can't spawn horizontal anymore. That was good times. I remember watching Supernova tank, uh, tank a Protoss, I believe, in horizontal spawns. That was when the map pool looks really exciting and new and hopeful. Now it's the complete opposite. Oh well. I know. I just, you and I are just so depressed about this ledge more than anything else. Like, there's nothing else about StarCraft 2 balance wise I could give a rat's ass about. You're like, oh, swarm house changes? Whatever. Like, if Marines were up here, wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. I, I agree. I uh, I would take that change, no problem. Because she since, you know, as a Terran, we don't have to worry about swarm hosts. I guess you do, because you. Mac. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of gross like that. A little, a little. You uh, know, I am not defined by the play style of StarCraft 2 that I play, okay? I can be a good human being and play Mac. I don't think that's true. Whoa. That one you also cheese. Okay, okay. Just take it to Tumblr already, why don't you? Jeez. I don't think Tumblr cares about this specific issue. The social justice, the social injustice right now. I would love to see him hide the SCV in the command center. It's not gonna happen, but uh, I pulled that off once the other day, and the first thing I thought of it was like, man, some people would appreciate this. Yeah, I would have. Uh, so he does really go. Nice. I, I mean, okay, let's let's talk about this for a second. Like, okay, mech or not, CC first. What what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I mean, this is against true of all people. Uh, um, I say no go on mech. I say three CC in a bio. I would love if this actually did fall up to mech, but the reason I bring this up is because by playing greedy like this, he gives True the ability to play greedy like this as well. And I think, you know, Zerg players getting to play, get away with playing greedy is one thing, but True getting to play greedy is a whole nother can of worms. You know, Cross actually effectively tank pushed on this map. Not tank dropped in like the back of the rocks, but tank pushed. Wow. And I was like, this never works. <laughs> Tanks are dumb. But he did. He got up into that nice little comfy area behind this third that True did take, and uh, who was it? Whoever was playing? Oh, Petraeus couldn't do anything about it. Uh, and that's why you know you always worry when you take the base that True does because it's it's abusable uh, if you get up close enough. Hopefully your creep spread is good enough that doesn't happen. Well, Spear is going to get a scout, and he already sees that third hatchery down. Uh, can't be the best feeling in the world, but. The nice thing is you also kind of know as the Terran player, you're not going to be punished too quickly. If you see that third hatchery like this, you know it's not the fast roach attack. You know it's not 11 roaches marching across the map. You know it's not some sort of all-in yet, but you instead you have time to breathe and possibly get what you need out. And what he needs is going to be Helene Banshee by the looks of it? No, Medivac. Yeah, Medivac. Uh, Helene drops almost looks like. Is there any Marines? There's only two. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be an armor. He does have that second, uh, second gas. I mean, it's not like it's too late for the armor or anything, but it just feels like the timing would have been uh, so oh, better for this. He just puts the tech lab on the, uh, on the barracks. Okay, no, no, okay, it's gonna be stem. All right. Well, you know, it's called the bio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Helium drops. Yeah. Not bad. That's actually drones. a nice shot. Five drones. 
<laughs> Six trust. I mean, the nice thing about an attack this early is you are banking on the fact that your opponent can also play greedy. I mean, the third hatcher is a big tip off to this, but you know, true losing six drones hardly devastates him. He does have enough queens to deal with a follow up too, but yeah, two hellions that come that quickly are just usually unseen, unpredictable, and that's what makes him so strong with that timing. Uh, he's got to follow up the hellion Ooh. drop, which is kind of cool. This this is probably gonna get scouted though. I'm a. Uh... Less concerned about the Hellion drop and more interested in this tank swap. Swap the uh, the tech lab over. Uh, with the third CC, I feel like this is just super <coughs> scared of a roach attack. Doesn't want Banelings to break them. Oh, it's possible. Certainly. Uh, with these Hellions, he might get a good scout. It, and, uh... Well, it does screw with the timing of what would have been Sim, though. So you're right. Like, the tank is more intriguing than just a simple defense. Because the question now arises will it be mech? And the answer is no. Oh, so bio. Alright. Kinda called it. He did go in a 3cc eventually. <laughs> um, still, you know, trying to do something with a Hellion drop. Why not? As long as the medevac has, you know, decent health. Just keep trying. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, like, I'm really... very concerned about the, the stim timing. Yeah. Uh, it's... Uh, I... I guess if he's planning to turtle up on bio, it's not such a big deal, but... Yeah, you, you don't want to turtle up on bio, right? Like... <laughs> Kind of contradictory statements, I guess. Whatever the case may be, with the third CC finishing up, he'll be able to do what he likes. Uh, upgrades will be on the way too, but you're right. Like, this is... It's not the worst stim timing in the world. We've definitely seen worse, but it is late. Uh, looks like he's going to boost across and abuse those rocks, but they're already being dealt with by True, so this might not work out too well. I guess mm. that's another benefit to the Hellions running around, though, because, you know, any links that were out would have been chasing the Hellions and weren't taking down these rocks right away. He's actually going to get here where the rocks still probably have about quarter health and might be able to stop the links from knocking them down. It looks like it. Uh, a couple of Marines and Marrows start turning away. I love the true pre position links, too, for, like, the second most common spot. Like, usually when this fails, they pick up and go here. Yeah, it is nice. But Spearman, are you ever going to get... Sim? Uh... Maybe it's mech, but he just wants anti-air. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I was wondering if he's gonna, yeah, go ahead and put two tech labs on and get uh, Stim and Comet at the same time too, like uh, uh, something you do in like TVP, but not really ever seen in TVZ. I guess he's hoping that the pressure he's applying on the other side of the map is enough to buy him the time for this being late. And if that's the case, I mean, it has been pretty good pressure so far. Not insane damage done, but True's not really come across the map with those links just yet. Uh, and hopefully, it doesn't soon because this is a big gaping hole in that wall. Yeah. Oh, the Hellions do catch the Lings. That's nice. This is always yeah. such a weird scuffle, because I don't think anything is so control-based. Like, you can really tell when a Zerg player knows what they're doing, when they don't lose that many Lings to the Hellions. But then you see the Terran players who just kill all those, like, Lings, and it's like a bad joke. It's like, oh, okay, then. Uh, true choosing to actually keep on going is a little interesting. You did see two more Hellions pop out, so that's, still, that's a lot of Hellions. Like, Lings can't actually combat that unless Spear truly messes up and gets completely surrounded. Yeah, I didn't even pull all of them to fight with. Uh, we do have Ventral Sacks on the way, and I'm wondering if this one is on purpose. Uh, I don't think so. I would I say, kind of well... He might have misread this as mech, right? Uh, so much tank uh, fire, so much everything else. And you might be thinking drops are the way to deal with it. And drops are an old school way to actually deal with mech, so... Uh, not completely be, out of the question. It'd be Baneling Ling drops. Like, he upgraded <laughs> the Lings, he's still upgrading the Lings. I'd love to see some Bane Rain. Ah, this doesn't work against uh, bio though. Um, oh well, the sim is finishing up uh, as well as the one one. So I mean, usually around now you don't you already want to be out on the map like your first scan going down or something like that. So it's you know it did delay the push, but not by as much as I thought it was. No, uh, it does have about what like four four kills on the Viking. Not too bad. Clean up some of the overlords. So not quite in position to see Whoa. this sixth hellbad drop coming. Uh, the Marines at the National Base are kind of like, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, good, you're looking at me, good. Because now you don't see, it's like a magic trick, like, <laughs> look over here, and then you make the coin disappear. Uh, that's a lot of hell bats. I mean, normally, like, there's two, and you outrun all of them, and it's not even an issue, but uh, with this many, the Lings are going to struggle. But hell, the Banelings might struggle. So he will clean this up, though. Oh, my God. So messy. So much fire. Uh, hopefully gets those medevacs out alive, they would definitely complement the push, come down the middle of the map, clean up those creep tumors. More banelings are on the way, but True actually doesn't have that much army value right now. Trading out with this is going to be quite difficult, and a nice position found on this ledge to start abusing that tank. Yeah, very nice. 
Haldix is one tank, and you, uh, you're you pretty slip I mean, not only is it, of course, you know, you can now drop on top of the high ground, the tank's adding that fire, but it's also adding just a little bit more of a choke, so when Banelings have to roll in here to clean it up, well, it's facing hell bad to the tank, so it's actually... Yeah, but since all the Banelings are down there, nothing's up here, and the drone line gets shredded by the Marine drop, even the Extractor falls through this. And uh, he'll try to pick up and get out of there, but I'd say that was pretty good damage from True. He's a decent, or by Spear, pardon me, a decent trade, but does yeah, what it takes at home to defend. There's a couple of Widow Mines, no wall off. This could get messy really quick. Oh, friendly fire. You are a dirty mistress. Mm, could have maybe saved up SCVs. Oh, we never fully walled this part off. Oh, there's something else coming across the map, though, so it looks like it's gonna be okay. I really do wish he had saved his SCVs if that was the case. Uh, still saves about half of them on the third. Uh, looks like Medivac was abandoned, but the drop still goes up. Picks off uh, a couple more drones on a spore crawler. True, why? Why? <laughs> You'd already pulled them to safety. Why put them back? Yeah, True just... Uh... <laughs> it's really cool to see the overlord drops if he ever does use them. Okay, looks like he is going to use them, but it seems to be like a major problem with... Oh, Medivac's going to see this. He... Yeah, that's gonna be really awkward. Like, why why this many overlords? Like, it's free kills otherwise, right? So he starts running away. The banlings are finishing up. Oh, it's a bad way to use them. But this kind of sucks, because True had intended to use those banlings not for defense, but for an aggressive attack. Now he might have to bring these back home. Oh, it's a hard decision off. to make. He's gonna go for it. That's gonna be weird. I guess if he can get on top of the production of Spear well enough, it could be worthwhile, but he's bleeding out a lot. Yeah, not, not just like a couple of the drones, but seriously, a whole fourth base is going to go down. Let's not forget this base was gutted once already. Ling's running into the drop. Ooh! One of my shots are pretty good. Meanwhile, here comes the Overlords to the main. Yeah, Bane Rain's going to catch some of the SCVs. Not too bad, not too bad. But of course, it's uh, those Marines popping out of the freshly... Uh, the fresh Marines out of those reactors and stuff. He's really got to get on top of. I don't think he has enough Ling's to do this, though. Uh, two two did finish for Spe or, yeah, oh, no. for Spear as well. A lot of stacked up CVs. Yeah, the links really aren't that powerful. I mean, they're still uh, they're bit, definitely bothersome, oh, but uh, all it's the not place. like three three with adrenal gland links. No, certainly not. Uh, what the Divas going down though, this does supply block them. So I mean, this attack not entirely bad, but for true, this would have been amazing had he not taken so much damage back at home. Yeah. And both players have lost a lot, but 54 drones have died. A lot of overloads gonna go down too, so now True's the one supply block. It kinda looks like a big all-in at this point, though. More links flooding yeah. across the map. The uh, Wood Mine's not quite burrowed. There we go. Starting to burrow, but no detection, no overseers. Friendly fire, they're gonna kill those Marines. Two more overloads oh. full of Zerglings to come out of this, but uh, can True actually do enough damage to make this worthwhile? He's still dying at home. Oh. Yeah. I'd say don't even use the bandits on these SCVs, it's like a waste. Still not quite enough. Spears' army is just uh, I think well, it's got big this. enough. Yeah. Although those overlord drops come for round two. Round <laughs> no, okay. Round two on like three ling or three SCVs. Hey man, anything helps. Right, Kill those fresh yeah. mules. Cut the production. Oh, lings are burrowed over here to prevent the command center from landing. True is being very annoying. Yes, that is true. Yeah, I just yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one of mine still burrowed over here, so if he does transfer drones back, he's gonna have a pretty bad time. I guess the really good thing through this attack that finally does, I'd say, make this worthwhile. Uh, oh, okay, that one band that connect. No, uh, he killed so many workers of spear, despite <laughs> the fact that he has mules. He's actually got a decent drone count to uh, play this game for, but he just he doesn't have the means <laughs> to deal with these drops. This is a medivac. There's an overlord the chasing SCVs because he thinks there's stuff in the overlord. <laughs> <laughs> Mind games. <laughs> like they were like running around the maze of barracks. Oh, it's pretty funny. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the biggest thing right now is of course, uh, yeah, the SCV count is not great, and that's that's you know whatever. But uh, the army hold. is good for spear, and he's getting upgrades right now. And he can always just abuse the fact that the units never came out in this oh. game. Oh my god! I can't believe those Banley's got through all those wood mines, got those connections. I think Chu's gonna hold this. There's no way. It's possible. He loaded. He's got round two of Banley's down here, so an overlord can come pick them up. Uh, he does need an overlord down there, of course. Two more Banley's coming towards the main, but there's no SCVs left. This became about a million times more scrappy than it needed to, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> this is a really weird, really cool game. Oh, this queen is trying so hard. 
And the Widow Mines are covering that, but he's not gonna go to the defense again. He's gonna lose his fourth. I mean, honestly, at this point, like 21 minutes, you'd be like, oh, well, his natural and his main and his third are like kind of getting mined out. His third's actually completely healthy. He hasn't really been mining. I mean, <laughs> true's, true is so like unorthodox sometimes, though. Uh, if you recall, there's, I, I think there was a week, so someone named Dunmer he was trying to make this work against, too. And uh, I don't know, I, I really don't know if this guy got like a trolley build out of him because he defended game one so easily, or if this is him actually just trying something new. Either way, I'm oh. loving it. Oh, he gets two overlords with everything inside. Uh, so only three overlords ended up dropping out, and that's not going to be enough to deal with all the marines. Uh, the Banelings going off on uh, the Marauders instead of the marines as well. Does pick up those sneak attack Banelings though. What's up? Oh, the third died. He's got yeah, this supply. Is this yeah, he's, he's down to like 40 supply. I think True knows it's over too, so at this point he's just going for a high score. <laughs> okay, how many, uh, how many workers killed? 71 to 69. Oh my god, that number. Can he beat uh, it? There's like none of SCVs to kill to, to make it to win. It's like, oh, 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 oh no, it's 80, oh, it's no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> True with the Banelings. But he still doesn't beat Spears oh. high score. 80 to 82, you're right. He doesn't quite win the, oh my God. Well, this was an interesting game too. It is pretty much over. We just, uh, we're waiting for True to finally decide when enough is enough. I'm loving these Vikings. I think he finally called. I'm loving those Vikings, by the way. Finally realizing how bad the Overlords were. Like, he knew he needed a way to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they did a pretty good job killing a couple Overlords here and there.